create google site with the help of your gmail account so to do that just log in to your gmail id and then you create a new folder in your uh, google drive to create the folder just click new and then folder so i'll name this folder as google site and then create it yeah. now I got the folder just open this folder and then right click click more and then click Google sites so you'll be able to get this particular uh, template so this is a blank template so here to add your name simply you just place the cursor here and then you just type your name or whatever may be the content you want to type it on the home page this is basically a home page only so you can type it so I'm just typing my name here and if you want to adjust the font style so if you click here you will be able to get different options so with the help of this you can also change the font style um, yeah this is a way how you can modify and then you can also click bold to bold the font if you want to integrate some link you can click this insert link if you want to clear formatting you can cl uh, uh, click this option so this are the ways how you can enter your name uh, on the home page so whether you want to add name or uh, something else you can also do that if you want to change the image of this background you can also do that for example i'm just clicking here you can also upload the image from your local drive or you can select the image from the gallery or even you can do a google search to locate the images so i'm trying to search something here on uh, education i'm trying to locate some of the uh, images related to education um, so if you like some of the images you can uh, keep it in the site otherwise you can uh, pick any one of the image from this gallery so I'll keep this as the image I'm liking this so I'll keep this one select so your background image will be changed here and then you can give some, some site name as well so I'm just giving Murugan as a site name okay now we are uh, done with the image changing process so if you want to type something here on the home page just click this text to box to insert the text to box so here I want to create about me bold it and then in sub heading format I want heading format I want to keep this and then uh, if you want to change the themes I mean the background themes you can also select any one of the color whatever may be the color you are liking even you can also customize the color by clicking this button so I'll go with this particular color even if you want to um, change the font style you can use this light or classic or heavy and then there are different options also available here so this is all the ways how you can change the background as well as color and uh, here uh, to change the background here you can click this regular em emphasis one and then emphasis two so this is the way how it will look like and then I'll keep one more text box to add something about myself so I'm just visiting my home page and uh, I'm just copy pasting some content here otherwise directly also you can type it something about yourself here and I want to keep this in uh, subheading format and to make certain alignments you can click this and then it will be in justified alignment now so this is a way how you can uh, copy paste the content here and then below this page I want to include my full CV as well as other social media pla platform links so to do that I'm just inserting a link here and then uh, so I'll copy paste the link of my curriculum mate
otherwise uh, you just select this and then uh, copy paste and to embed the link just press this insert link go there and then press the copy link address here you can uh, paste that link apply now this curriculum it will be embedded here and then if you want to embed something more you can also do that um, I want to keep this education details um, below this page so to do that again I'll insert one more text box and I want to keep this text box above this curriculum um, so I'll keep this education details here so this I want to keep it in um, subheading mode if you want to keep bold font you can keep it otherwise that's fine okay so this is all the things I have added in the home page now you can also add another page uh, on uh, research or maybe teaching whatever may be the content you want to share you can also share it by creating an another page just click this so I want to name this particular page as a research and um, yeah this I want to make it as a bold font here you can insert the text so here you can uh, insert some of the things about your research so I'm just copy pasting this content under the research this I want to make it in subheading this also I want to make it in subheading yeah so this is a way how you can uh, copy paste your research articles I mean citations uh, suppose when you want to embed any one of the citation just copy paste the title in Google so that directly by clicking that link they'll be able to access your paper so I'm just opening the home page of this uh, article just copy this address go back to your Google site and then you select the text and then click insert link paste the link here so that from here itself they will be in the uh, audience will be able to access your paper so similarly for others also you can do the same thing and then um, I want to create another page here I want to create another page and this is uh, referred as resources so I want to make it as a bold font so here what I'm going to do is I want to embed some of the uh, content from my YouTube channel so I'm just visiting my YouTube page um, so I'll go to my channel so in the Google site you have other resources like um, you can also embed any of the web page you can also embed any of the text content even you can embed image to upload some of the images from your local drive you can use this image you can also uh, do the google search by clicking the select option and then you can also share some of the materials from your google drive so whatever may be the content you want to share it with your audience simply you keep everything in the google drive and then you can uh, copy paste the link here through that way you can share the content there are different layout options also available so when you want to keep image on the left side and then on the right hand side if you want to keep the text based information you can select this uh, layout uh, so that here you can insert the image from youtube or upload or uh, anything you can do and then here you can say something about this particular content so this is a way how you can insert this particular layouts uh, and then um, you have uh, some of the things like you can also embed google document google slide google sheet that is excel file and then google forms charts so these are the things you can uh, embed this is used to divide your page this is used to click some buttons 
and then uh, you can also uh, make some table of content uh, about the page content and then collapsible text so these are the other options available here and if you want to finally publish your uh, site you can click this publish and then here uh, you can also duplicate this site suppose if you want to create one more site based on this uh, content you can also do that so now i'll show you how to uh, add some of the things here uh, under the resources part so before that i'll add a text box to before that i'll add a text box to say something about this heading so here uh, i want to keep some of the resources related to um, resources on statistical data analysis so here i'm keeping this and then uh, i'll make it as a subheading with the bold font this i'll make it as this yeah now i want to add some uh, youtube video here so here i just uh, added couple of videos uh, related to data analysis so i want to keep one by one uh, in my page so first i want to keep this particular video just copy the url link of this uh, video and then go back here click youtube you just copy paste the url link of the video here just search you will be able to locate this video just click that and then select this video will be embedded here so here you can uh, say something about this video so i want to write mediation analysis and then if you want to give some description about this video you can also give the description so this is the way how you can make this i want to duplicate this section so here i want to add uh, another uh, video to do that again uh, this uh, yeah you can also make certain things here and then uh, you can click this and then delete go back to your uh, channel and then you try to locate another video so here i want to keep this particular video if you want to do that just select that copy the url go back to your site here just click this uh, select youtube paste the url link here locate the video in select insert and then here you say something about this video this is serial mediation part 1 and then in the text you can say something about this video so this is a way how you can embed some of the vi videos here even you can also uh, um, even you can also do some more things like uh, here you can insert some images and then you can give some explanation about that particular image even that can be done so this is a way how you can add uh, some of the videos here or simply you can say that uh, data analysis related videos and then you can uh, uh, share the channel link even you can also do that uh, now i want to add another page on uh, teaching so i'll click new this is about teaching here what you can do is uh, insert a new text box you can say something about current courses this i want to make it as a bold letter and then with a subheading or heading yeah emphasize to now below this again i want to keep another text box so the current course which i am taking is business research methods suppose if you want to share some of the resources to your uh, students or maybe if you are conducting some uh, conferences or maybe workshops and when you want to share some of the uh, links to your uh, audience you can also populate all the content here and then you can also share it uh, suppose if you want to use this particular site for your uh, uh, personal usage purpose means here you can simply list down some of the courses which you are taking currently 
and then you can also give some links to the courses so that that will direct them to the Moodle page. Suppose if the students are going to see your uh, uh, courses in your Google site means they will be redirected to the Moodle site. So through that way also you can do, I mean whatever you want to uh, showcase here you can do that. Uh, now I want to insert one more page to say something about the contacts or contact done. So here I want to mention something about the contact details. So insert text to bug contact me heading and then another text to box. So or simply you can say that email and then mobile and then your uh, social media IDs maybe Facebook and then LinkedIn. So whatever you want to keep you can uh, give your uh, links as well as you can type your details even you can also create a uh, automatic email page here even that is possible even you can embed some of the other uh, google products here even that is also possible so these are the ways how you can create the site so now if you want to see the site in preview mode you can click that option for example i'm just clicking this home this is the way your uh, home button will look like and then here I'm just clicking this research button see the link which we have embedded so simply by clicking this link they'll be able to access this uh, resource and then I'm just clicking resources so there's all the things coming here and then I'm clicking teaching this is what coming and then contact so this is the way your site will look like now if you want to publish this site just click publish and then here you can give some customized URL address of this site. So I'm just giving it as uh, Murugan P site. If this is available means you will get blue color tick box. Otherwise it will say red color. Murugan P. I'll add one more thing here. Dr. P. Murugan. Yeah, this site is available. So I'll copy this link and then you click publish click publish now my site is live live in the sense uh, uh, it is published simply by locating this particular link public can access my site so this is the way how my site will look and when you want to unpublish this site go back to your uh, editable uh, uh, file that is available in your uh, Google Drive folder. Let me refresh this once. So here you will have this. Just double click and then open it. After that, what you can do is go here and then click unpublish. So that this site will be unpublished now. Now if they access this particular link, they will not be able to access it. I'll show you. So I'm trying to locate this site. Say it is asking me to sign in. So the site is not uh, live. So this is the way how you can create the Google site for uh, your uh, profile creation purpose as well as how you can publish and then unpublish your sites. Thanks for watching this video.